We just spoke to Nicole Schmidt. She's a Democratic strategist. We spoke to her on the ground in Washington and we spoke to her about much of the philosophy and the ideology that has informed India's diplomatic decisions over the last few years. I want to take to you a much more concrete question because we are still opening the show and I do want to just give our audiences all the important information out there. Can you very quickly tell us about what's happened today? Tell us about the deals why some of the deals are being called historic and what today means for India and the United States. Uh, so to, uh, this is a comprehensive meeting that has happened and a lot of negotiations have happened around so many subjects that it will be uh, really difficult to, 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 to keep it short. But uh, to give us a few major highlights, there has been a deal uh, on uh, you know transfer of technology of jet engines that is going to be between G Electronics uh, and Indutan Aeronautics Limited. Then there is MQ-9Bs predatory drones that has that India has shown interest in acquiring uh, for its uh, you know surveillance uh, in maritime domain in aerial uh, uh, for air force and for army also so there will be a, a, a facility that will uh, manufacture these drones in India then there are uh, deeds between NASA and ISRO to develop a strategic framework for human space flight uh, cooperation by the end of 2023 NASA will provide advanced techno uh, advanced training for Indian astronauts in Texas and then there are uh, trade dynamics of the bilateral uh, relationship where both sides have agreed to have joint forces which will uh, try to negotiate early uh, about the aspect of you know tariff and uh, how the facilitation of products from one uh, from US to Indian markets and products from Indian market to US markets can be facilitated on a very smooth basis without having much of the hindrance and without not uh, impacting each other's uh, you know indigenous industries as well. Uh, then this Micron technology is going to invest about 850, 825 million dollars in India to create a facility of uh, repackaging and packaging and testing uh, of semiconductors. Uh, about 1.5 uh, billion dollar will be uh, given by Indian uh, government, and the joint collaboration will have somewhere around 2.7 uh, billion dollar of investment that will create some 5,000 new direct and 15,000 community jobs opportunity in the next five years. Uh, the facility will be in Gujarat Sanan. Then there is LAMB research proposal to train 60,000 Indian engineers to accelerate India's semiconductor education and workforce development goals. So, so clearly uh, the overall ecosystem of semiconductor is about to begin in India where the investment, uh, expertise, training uh, and the processing is every every part of the value chain of the semiconductor manufacturing from idea from design uh, to export is being planned and is being organized in a way that uh, over the period of few years Indian uh, industry will have its uh, will have uh, an independent uh, workforce well trained workforce a, a major investment uh, knowledge and technical expertise to deal with it then applied materials uh, with uh, with the, the CEO of who which has also met Prime Minister Modi uh, is going to invest 400 million dollars to establish a collaborative engineering center in India. Two joint uh, task forces have been launched to advance telecommunication focused on open R uh, RAN research and development in 5G 60. Remember there has been a lot of concerns coming from Chinese telecommunication equipment of 5G. There has been bans uh, in, uh, imposed on Chinese telecommunication device in India, in USA in, and in many European countries and since uh, there is not much of the capacity to build uh, same sort of advanced uh, 5G technology. So there is a growing need of create uh, that knowledge base uh, to share that knowledge and create a scalable production capacity where the requirement of industries and uh, in terms of telecommunication equipments can be fulfilled and catered and India happens to uh, okay. you know provide that platform. So there are a lot of deals and negotiations and the joint MOUs that has been signed between the two sides uh, and uh, you know gradually uh, one by one we'll tell our uh, viewers about this. Abhishek, thank you though for providing us with a summary.